Friends, we need to talk about the M2 Mac Minis that are coming out on Tuesday. We've got two different versions. We've got 599 uh, for the base model, or we've got the M2 Pro model, which has 12 cores of CPU, 19 cores of GPU, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and twice the bandwidth of the memory of the base model. 599 is less than the uh, base model of the M1 Mac Mini cost, but here's where the problem comes in. You can get 599 for 256 gigabytes of storage, 799 for 512 gigabytes of storage, but then if you wanna get the Pro model, you jump all the way up to $1,299. 10 cores, 16 cores GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage for 1299. That to me doesn't seem like a great deal because I would at least wanna bump it up to 32 gigabytes of, of RAM and then maybe go up to a terabyte of storage and then suddenly I'm at $18.99, which is $100 away from the Mac Studio. And I feel like I would want the Mac Studio over and above the M2 Pro. And the Mac Studio has the M1 Max, which I would say still is the better chip to have compared to the M2 Pro. Apple has created kind of a, a, a problem for themselves here with the M2 Mac Minis. Are you going to buy one? Let me know down in the comments.